Hi, this is Becky Dvorak, the author of Dare to Believe, The True Power of Faith, The Walking Divine Healing and Miracles with Destiny Image Publishers. Today, I want to give you a brief word of encouragement about your identity in Jesus Christ. Now, this message is for the believer in Jesus. Now, oftentimes we hear Christians say that they're just old, wretched sinners saved by grace. Do you know that as humble as that may sound, it is unscriptural? The Bible says that in Psalm 139 that his precious thoughts about us, towards us, outnumber the sands of the earth. That's amazing. God does not have one wicked thought or negative thought concerning you. His thoughts are, are precious. They're wonderful. They're good. Also, when we hear people say that they're just old sinners saved by grace, as, re as religious as it may sound, that's exactly what it is. It's false religious doctrine that does not line up to the Word of God because the New Testament tells us that, that when we come to the Lord and ask for forgiveness of our sins, whatever the sins may be, He says that He is faithful and just to forgive us of all unrighteousness. It doesn't matter what the sin was. It doesn't matter how horrific the situation was, the sin was. If you are truly repentive in your heart, He is faithful and just to forgive you of all unrighteousness. And also we find in Psalm 103 that when we that when we repent before the Lord, when we go before Him and ask us to forgive Him of our sins, and He says in His Word that He that He that He forgives us of all our transgressions as far as the east is from the west. Do you know that the east and the west, they never meet? That's an amazing promise of God, that he, he is faithful and just to forgive us from all unrighteousness, and that He will remember our sins no more. He forgets them as far as the east is from the west, meaning He never will hold them against us again. Also, when people say that, they're just old sinners saved by grace. There is something in them that needs inner healing from the Lord. Something that, something in, in their past, there's something in them that they are holding against themselves. But I want to encourage you, regardless of how horrible it was, if you've given it over to the Lord, if you said, Father, forgive me, forgive me for this terrible sin, he is faithful and just, and He forgives you, and He does not hold it against you anymore. That's the good news. That's the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So you no longer are an old sinner saved by grace. In fact, the Lord calls you the redeemed that you are redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. So no longer say that I am just an old sinner saved by grace. Say, I am a Christian. I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Have a wonderful day. And I say, always, always, always dare to believe.